Shalom. I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS, you know, Great Millstone, that like, taught us this word. Um, basically, I just wanted to talk about, you know, cursed days and your birthdays and how you're not supposed to celebrate it. You know, this was my birthday actually just went by, which, you know, inspired me, you know, to do this lesson. Um, because, you know, everybody wants to, you know, send you birthday cards and, you know, people at your job want to throw you a party. Your parents want to send you a birthday card and all that stuff. Like, your birthday isn't something to be celebrated, man. Especially for for the elect, you know, for Israel. Because really it goes back to a pagan custom. Uh, when they would used to uh, burn incense, in, incense and bake cakes to the Queen of Heaven. But we're not in that time. To, you know, be in that party spirit and all that and celebrating the day we were born because we're cursed. You know, we're living in a time of slavery, you know, mental slavery now, but still slavery nonetheless. Um, first uh, scripture I want to get is Deuteronomy 28 15. But it, it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken to the voice of of the Lord thy power to observe and do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee and that's exactly what happened man we went off you know we broke the law statutes commandments and most high you know threw us in this captivity but this is the last one that we're gonna have to deal with um, I just want to jump down to verse 19 Cursed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and cursed shalt thou be when thou goest out. You know, from the womb to the tomb. So, man, these birthdays out here, it's not something to really be partaking in, especially if you're in this truth. You know, you want to put all that off. You know, all these pagan holidays, um, the Christmas, uh, Easter, you know, Halloween. All those, that's all pagan customs, man. We're not supposed to be involved in that. Um, next scripture I want to get is Jeremiah 20 and 14. The book of Jeremiah 20, verse 14. Cursed be the day wherein I was born. Let not the day wherein my mother bare me be blessed. Yeah, actually, you know, Jeremiah, you know, under the Babylonians, he was in that captivity. You know, he was a prophet of the Most High, and he knew about, you know, he wanted the kingdom. So, you know, out there prophesying, catching all that hell. You know, he didn't, you know, celebrate his birthday, man. He, he hated his, his birthday, you know. The next scripture is uh, Jeremiah 17 and 4. And now, even thyself shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and will cause thee to serve thy enemies in a land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. Yeah, I mean, we discontinue from our heritage, you know, our land, our language, everything was taken from us. So this really isn't the time to be, you know, in that feasting spirit, um, that party spirit, especially if you're, you're in this truth and you believe in this word. Um, we gotta focus on the prophecies. You know, we gotta focus on this upcoming time of Jacob's trouble. Because it's gonna affect everybody. And we wanna be able to present ourselves as worthy, you know, to the Most High. And to Yahweh Shai. That we're worthy for deliverance. Yeah? So that we can establish the kingdom. So that then we can be in that party spirit. You know? Next scripture I want to get is Ecclesiastes 7 and 2. Ecclesiastes 7 verse 2. It is better to go to the house of mourning than go to the house of feasting. For that is the end of all men, and the living will lay to its heart. Sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the countenance the heart is made better. 
yeah, some of them were purified by, you know, catching as hell and, you know, having a low, sad countenance. But on the inward, we have to know that we're kings, man. We're princes. We have a kingdom coming, so we're supposed to carry ourselves in that, in that kingly, you know, that kingly spirit about us, man. We have to have that confidence about us. You know, we have that glow. When we walk into the room, everybody sees us. Everybody notices us, man. So you have to have that confidence about you, even though we're catching as hell. But you have to, it's a balance. You know, it's a balance. You're not supposed to be all into that party spirit. You know, just and just happy, you know. Like that that song that Pharrell did. Like he's so happy. I'm like, no, you're not, man. <laughs> you mean you're not happy. You know, the black man isn't happy here in America, man. It really, because we're coming to this time of trouble, you know, we got these concentration camps that are coming up, the CHIP, the draft, World War Three, ultimately, nuclear missiles. So we got all that to look forward to, man. So we got to be focused on what we need to be focused on. We need to be focused on, on the prophecies, being watchmen, and staying in this word, staying in this truth. You know, sometimes you fall off a little bit, get a little bit lazy, you know, but the brothers, you know, you got if you have true brothers around you, they're gonna correct you and you're gonna get back on that right path. Um, last scripture I'm gonna get is uh Second Ezra in the Apocrypha, Second Ezra chapter sixteen and thirteen. Second Ezra chapter sixteen, verse thirteen. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. So that's parabolic talk. It's not talking about actual bow and arrow. It's talking about the nuclear missiles that Ezra saw that's going to be shot off on America in these end times, man, during that World War III. Yeah, you can't shoot an arrow from one end of the earth to the other. But an ICBM missile that can go from one end to the earth to the other, you know. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled and it shall not be put out till it consume the foundations of the earth. Yeah, that's talking about that nuclear missile, man, that nuclear holocaust that's coming real soon. You know, America is going to be totally wiped off, off the map. Israel is going to be destroyed, but it's going to be built back up. Like as an arrow, which is shot of a mighty archer, returneth not backward, even so the plagues shall be shot upon the earth, shall not return again. So once the arrows are shot, once the missiles are shot, they're not going to come back. They're going to hit their target, and they're going to destroy everything. So it's part of the elect, the hopeful elect, you know, we hope to be in the chariots. So that fire doesn't touch us, you know. Woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days? And that goes into the reincarnation, you know. Because he knew that he was going to be reincarnated in this time, which he is back here today. All the prophets are back here today, you know. Woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows and great mornings, <laughs> you know, great mornings. The beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the powers shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils, what shall I do when these evils shall come? You have to have that faith when them evils shall come, man. You've been doing everything you're supposed to do, and you believe in Yahweh me, Yahweh Shai. He's going to protect you and he's going to guide you through them days. And ultimately, you'll be delivered. Or you'll be a martyr, which is okay. Because if you're a martyr, you have to die from this truth and this word. Go to those concentration camps and you know, they put you to death. You're going to be the first ones in them chariots. You know? Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish is sent as scourges for amendment. Yeah, man, so we're not in the time to be, you know, messing around, you know, celebrating birthdays and, you know, 
having fun. I mean, you can get with the brothers, have some fun, or, you know, you have a woman, you go out with your woman, have a little bit of fun. But it's not supposed to be, you know, an everyday thing, man. Just partying and BSing all the time, man. That's not the way to go. It's not the spirit you're supposed to be in.